welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. And if you subscribe, click the little bell and you'll be notified of future videos. I'd like to welcome you to today's pick three, and it's all about a breakup and will he come back? So I'm going to switch over here and you're gonna see three piles of cards. And this is a variety of cards. Take a moment. Relax, because this can be a very upsetting topic for you if you've gone through a recent breakup and you're wondering if this person is going to come back. So we have pile number one, the middle pile, and the end pile. If you've chosen pile number one, we're going to begin your reading now. Is he coming back? Well, here you are alone, and you're wondering... Um, if you could have seen this, if you could have seen this coming, um, because he's cloaked, which means a good share of it was hidden, that this could have caught you off guard. And you're like, well, how could I have seen this better? And then he's got a staff, so it does mean that there was just a slight dependence on this person for your happiness, right? And then, of course, the next card we pull is from Anna Kay, and it's a strength card. And so you're not feeling very strong right now, but this is this is also a card about was there a battle of the wills? Like, was there a battle of the wills? Were you engaged in a lot of, um, so to speak, turf wars? Um, this card indicates that there were uh, problems. You know, this is a lot of problems. Somebody was bullheaded. There's a big bull in here and someone didn't want to see it. So you were looking at the, now that you're past the relationship, you're looking at all the sunny sides and, and yet there was a lot of fire and, and um, signs, so to speak, that this may have been ending. And your final thing for pile number one is no, he's not coming back. He's gone, he's already moved on. There's a new path being shown. Um, the good news for you is that you'll also uh, move on. And this is the rose and it talks about a, a desire to move on. So wishing you the very best. Um, as you go through a painful situation. For those of you who chose pile number two, we're going to begin your reading now. We start out with a pattern of being wounded. So you, for those of you who chose pattern number or pile number two, you might have had several breakups with them, or you might have a pattern of drawing in the wrong relationship. And you're like, really? I did this again, the same type. And this is a pattern again and again and again. You could have broken up with the same person over and over again, or it could be a pattern. But you emerged from this breakup pile two stronger. <laughs> you picked up your weapon and you said, I don't know if I want you back. See the hand up? You know, I might be happier without you. She's pretty happy, and she's pretty strong. The Ace of Wands, she's really strong. And this is that he might reach out and see the fence between them. He might reach out and talk. He might reach out and communicate, right? So I believe that if you chose Pile 2, there's a potential that there's going to be a communication in the future between the two of you. But heads up, heads up, heads up. This means the relationship may not have been healthy. Could have been either codependent or someone had an addiction or there was behavioral issues that were deal breakers for you. And this is someone feeling trapped in the relationship and they want out. And so if you got out, you might want to, you know, if this communication is going on, you're keeping a barrier between you, right? And this is, is not really a good outcome card that you want. So maybe this person will want to come back and you'll say, you'll be the woman here saying, stop, I shall not have you back. <laughs> Those of you who chose pile three, your reading begins now. You had a lot of happiness in this uh, relationship. There were a lot of happy times. You thought that everything was secure for those of you who chose um, Pile 3. And you're very curious as to what they're doing right now. There's a lot of curious curiosity. See, peeking over the fence. Um, because it's it's like a part of your world is um, was taken away from you. A big part of your world. This person was, you thought you had everything lined up just the way it should be and then it ended. And so you're like peeking into their life. You could be doing that on social media. You could be doing that in a variety of ways. Uh, the justice indicates with the scales that there, there wasn't uh, 
fairness. There was something that was not fair. Now, for those of you who actually married this person and broke up, this could be the possible going to the legal lawyer for um, because this is justice to to have the divorce finalized. Um, and the emperor card indicates that if this person were to come back, and right now that person's sitting, so they're not moving, so it's not looking at this point of this reading like they're returning, um, I want you to look at were they controlling? Did they have to have things their way all the time? Um, and did they belittle you? See, he's got his hand his feet on the world? Did they make you feel like you were less of a person? So what were you basing your happiness on? This is These cards are indicating um, for you to look at the truth of that relationship. How much happiness did you actually have? And was this person controlling? And is this a situation? I mean, it's it's natural for us to be curious and want to peek over and see what they're going to do. There's, you know, there's a natural um, curiosity in our species. And so this card doesn't necessarily mean that uh, he will come back either. It means that you're kind of hopeful. See, he's looking over the wall and he's kind of hopeful that there'll be a reunion. But then the justice card comes and said, we, we have to have truth here. We have to have truth and fairness. And then this card says, I, I have to get on top of my world. So this not only indicates that there's not a movement for him to come back right now, but that you have to get move forward and, with your own life um, and be strong about it. Be strong. Find your own truth. And um, very sorry that this happened to you. Thank you for stopping by.